In this video, I wanted to share with you how easy it is to create patterns like this one right here in Canva for free. I'm gonna share with you step-by-step -step on how to do it and what it looks like when you upload it to Amazon as well as Redbubble. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Juno with Detour Shirts. In this video, I wanted to share with you how easy it is to create patterns in Canva for free. You can have a free account and do this. The reason for that is you don't need to remove the background for patterns on Canva. You actually want the background there when you upload it to print on demand. So this works perfectly for Canva or Canva Pro. I created this design right here on Canva and I've been getting a lot of good sales on Amazon. So I wanted to share with you how you can create your own patterns like these in Canva for free. I also wanted to show you this on Amazon. If you go to Amazon on Pretty Merch Pro Plus, you can do the research and take a look at these patterns for phone cases. All of these can be made on Canva as well. So, and patterns are also very popular on Redbubble. If we look at Redbubble phone cases for flower patterns, for example, look at all these flower patterns that are top sellers on Redbubble. So let's get into Canva right now and go step-by-step -step on how I would create patterns using Canva. All right, so here we are on Canva, canva.com. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step on how to do it. It's very easy to do. We're gonna create a design right here and we're gonna to go to custom size. And this time, instead of 4,500 by 5,400, we're gonna do 4,500 by 4,500, a square. And you'll see why in the moment. So I'm gonna click that. And there we have, we have our square. And we're just gonna to go to elements. And you can see I've tried this before. I'm just gonna type in flower like that and you can pick graphics you could do photos too it would work just the same way as long as the background's transparent but we're going to do graphics just to keep it easy and you can see some of these are pro some of these are not um, for this video i'm going to do a free one just to show you you can do it for free so here's a free one right here i'm going to click on here and then you can see magic recommendations i'm going to hit see all now i could pick any one of these and i could um, put them all together. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do two of them actually. So let's do this one, this one, this one. Just randomly doesn't matter, right? Um, and maybe these two leaves here. That'd be fun. Okay. The next thing we want to do is pick a background color. So let's just go here and instead of it could be white, but you can see some of these flowers are really light, so it doesn't work on white. I'm gonna look like a red, so we can see these flowers work really well. Okay, so the, for the first one, for the easier one, I think, and it's not that much easier, but I'm just gonna randomly put things here. So I can size them down and turn them, you know, put this here. And this, we're just doing a free form pattern. So if you want the flowers bigger or smaller and turn them, you can do that. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly do that and I'll show you what happens. All right. So now that I got all the flowers in one spot, all, all the, I'm using all the flowers here, I'm gonna start repeating the flowers. You can see I'm breaking the edges here and kind of um, spacing them out. So if this one's up like this, I wanna put this one here and down like that. So I don't wanna just make a row, I wanna kind of stagger them and that kind of gives it more interest, right? Instead of just doing row, row, row of flowers. So I'm gonna now um, just use the same flowers and put them all over. So I'm gonna take this flower, for example, hold option and bring it here. I can also turn this and make it a different size if I want to, but you can see now it's kind of repeating, but it doesn't have to repeat. Like I can put this one here and put it right here and that's just fine. So all we're doing is filling the space with the different flowers. Now I can take this leaf and put it here and it doesn't have to be like in the same spot. I'm gonna turn it and go like that just to give it some variety. Uh, I can take this leaf, put it here, turn it, right? Uh, wherever it fits, wherever you think it goes. And you may need to adjust, like maybe this works better when it's butted up against here like this, and maybe this needs to come down. So we're just playing around with space and, and moving things around. So this one's kind of hard, but it, it's fun. Just think of it as like creating a puzzle and there's no wrong answers. Um, you can do that. So I'm gonna show you, um, kind of fast forward through this part and show you what happens when we get to the end of it. All right, so there you go. Just a nice simple pattern right here. You can see it didn't take me very long, but uh, I just put things randomly. So this is just a random pattern and these would be good for Amazon. So these don't tile at all, um, but I can use this on 
phone cases, I can use this on uh, tote bags, I can use this on pillows, and I'll show you what it looks like. So the next one, I'm gonna add a page here. And the next one I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one of these, this one right here, I'm gonna copy it. Actually, it's better if I just use this one. So let's go down here and use this one. Right, so it's already straight, I don't have to straighten it. We're gonna do a tile pattern, and this one's gonna be for red bubble. So I'm gonna change the background just so it's different. I'll do black here, and I can change the color on these too. So if I want the petals to be a different color, let, let, let's say white and this is red, I can do that, right? So I'm gonna do a tile pattern by moving it over the edge, but only halfway, and you're gonna feel it when it's halfway. You're gonna like feel it stick a little. So there you go, see how that's stuck? I'm gonna hold down Option and Shift, and I'm gonna copy it and bring it all the way over here and wait till it sticks halfway again. So if you if you kind of move it like this, you'll feel it stick there, halfway, right there. Okay, so that's halfway, and this is halfway, and that's really important because it needs to be halfway for it to tile. So just to make sure, you can hold down Shift and kind of wait till it sticks there, halfway, and and they also need to be right across each other. Okay, and the next thing you can do is down. Now hold down Option and drag both of these and you can put them down here somewhere, okay? So it doesn't matter if it's halfway now because you've, you've made it halfway there. So I'm gonna just put it right here just to be random. Now the next thing you can do is, because it's a square, click on these two, um, drag it to make it a copy, but then you can rotate it. We'll make sure it's 90. And you can put it like right here and then hold down option again and copy it and put another one right here it doesn't have to be halfway now as long as you did the first one right everything else should work okay and then we're just going to copy these all over the place okay so i'm going to hold down option and put one right there and put them right there and i'm going to speed through this so you can see all i'm doing is randomly placing it everywhere but you don't want to break the edges on these other ones that you come here so don't break the edge here the only ones that are breaking the edges are the ones that we just put in here so you can come close to the edge but don't go over the edge okay so let's do that all right that i think this should work um what we're trying to do is not leave big black spaces everywhere. So we kind of filled in the space. The spacing is around the same. We don't want them to touch, but we also don't want giant holes in them. So I think this will work. We're gonna see on Redbubble. So I'm gonna save both of these, uh, this one right here for Amazon, where we're not tiling it. And this still could work for Amazon, the tiling one, but this one's more special because we want tiling in Redbubble where you can't tile in Amazon, on Amazon Merch On Demand, you can tile on Redbubble, which is really cool. So download both of these. I'm gonna hit share. I'm gonna hit download. I'm gonna hit PNG, which is fine. We don't need the transparent background. We have the colored background that we need, and we're gonna hit download. I'm gonna download these. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to Amazon Merch On Demand. I'll show you what it looks like with this red one, and then we're gonna go to Redbubble, and I'll show you what it looks like with the black one. All right, here we go. I um, Drop the PNG right here, and you can see it doesn't look great on t-shirts, but uh, pop sockets, phone cases, tote bags, and throw pillows, it's all gonna work. So let's go here. We'll move this to the top corner. You see how I wanna butt it up against there and there? That's how it scales. It scales down this way. So when I open it up like this, you can see perfect pop socket, right? Uh, again, come up here to the corner, top left corner, um, scale it down until you reach the bottom right there. So this one has to be at least 72%. And you can see I can move it any one of these ways. And I think that looks great. Now you can't scale it. Like if the flowers are too big, in this case, you're gonna have to shrink it down in Canva and then make a, a more patterns and add and add. But you can see it, it looked just like what we did, right? So this is where you kinda have to figure out if, are the flowers too small, are they too big? And in this case, I, I think that's fine. And here, I can fill in that. And 4,500 by 4,500 will make sure that it fits on everything. You got ample room to move things around if you want the pattern. And there you go. 
very simple. It looks very tropical. You can do it with any flowers. You can do it with other things too, right? Like we saw on the Amazon, the top sellers, it can be uh, cowboy themed, it can be skeleton, it can be uh, cactus or whatever, right? I just use flowers in this example, but the ideas and the graphics that you have on Canva are endless. So great, great idea here. So next one, red bubble. We're gonna come in here. Uh, I'm gonna go and add new work. Let's just drag that one, that black one that we did in here. I'm not gonna show you what to put in the title and the tags and descriptions. You can figure that out. I just wanna show you design for right now. So right now it looks great on some of these things, right? Uh, phone cases look great, but let's say we wanna make the flower smaller now. If we did it right, it should all connect. Let's see if we did. Uh, let's go to choose pattern, regular grid, and look at that. Not bad, right? So it does, you can move this around. And you may come in here and think, well, there is a there's a little black, more black here and there. So maybe you go back in and, and change it. But I think the randomness of it, it, it looks pretty cool, right? Uh, it works great on the pillow at 4,500 by 4,500 if you want it that size. Again, if you want it on bigger things, if you see it like this, this is when you have to come in here and do regular grid. And there it fills it. So you can fill so many different um, products on here just by doing that that little trick um, by moving it around, right? So there you go. It fits on anything that needs a pattern. Aprons I think will be really cool. Let's do this one. I'll do one more. Same thing. Come in here. Um, regular grid, right? And then you can size it down if you want. Look at that. Really cool, right? So we all did this in a matter of minutes. And again, endless amount of content here on um, Canva, even if you have for free, even if you have Canva free and not Canva for with Canva Pro, you have even more, but Canva free, you got a ton of stuff in this. This is great. This is easy and it looks nice. And you can, again, do it with other flowers, other um, designs and, and go have fun with that. Just remember when you do it, do the first one uh, half and half, and then you can try it out. You don't have to do two here and two there and two there. You can play around or you could just do one and one and just make sure the other ones don't cross the border. If you want to cross the border, then you have to do that um, half and half thing, right? If it crosses one side, it has to cross the other. So real easy to do on Canva. And uh, the more you do it, the easier it'll get. So there you go. That's how easy it is to do patterns on Canva with Canva Free or Canva Pro. Doesn't matter. Um, play around with it. There's tons of graphics, like I said. So have fun with this. Flowers, I think, are the best sellers I've seen, at least personally for me. But uh, you've seen some of the other best sellers on there. They weren't all flowers. So play around, see which one works for you. Find some good graphics, and I think you can do really well, especially on Amazon, but on Red Bull as well, because there's so many different products. So thanks again for watching. If you want to see more Canva tutorials, I have a whole Canva playlist right here. So I. I'll put that right there. You can learn everything about Canva for Canva Pro as well as Canva Free and make a lot of designs, especially for Q4. So again, thanks for watching. And as always, guys, keep creating and keep learning. I'll see you on the next one.